Aha. Well, here we are. Uh, let's see if I can, I can do this. Um, thank you all for being uh, so patient. Um, I was trying to uh, to see if I could um, bring in our special guest for our MPC 2022, our new um, a new charity partner. So if I can find them, um, it would be fantastic. Uh, so please don't uh, request to join because I'm not going to uh, to invite you in. Um, I'm just going to see if I can invite them and. Uh, here we go. Request to join. Mm, here we go. I can see they're following. Ah, interesting. All right, guys. Hmm. Interesting. Second time a charm, indeed. Well, you say so. Let's see. I'm going to... Interesting. Ah, there we go. Guys, thank you for your patience. I'm hoping that I can uh, bring our guest. Perfect. Thank you for your patience. Matt Hill. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I don't know what's going on there. Well, it's uh, it's good to see you, mate. Finally, I uh, you know I apologize for my um, technological skills. To be honest, I'm going to blame I'm going to blame our enthusiastic peakers who all wanted to uh, who wanted to jump on the call with us. But maybe next time. I think it's a bit both of us. I'll probably take the blame because uh, I was looking for the button. I had like three people trying to tell me look for this button, look for this button. But here we are. So I'm very excited, and I think I have half the team that's very jealous that I'm on a call with you right now. Uh, well, we're, I'm delighted to be on a call with you, Matt. Honestly, I'm so excited. Um, I mean, for the people that don't know, you know, my big challenge, we've been supporting a number of charities over the years. Um, we ha have tried to make a positive change in their, their health and their lifestyle, but also in the world environment around them, whether that's, you know, cancer research, blood cancer research, or... Um, or other charities from, you know, global food banking to, to hospice care. But we really wanted to, um, to work with you. Uh, I think I've just scared him off. Look at that. That's fantastic. I actually scared Matt off by talking about other charities and not about his charity. Um, let's see if we can pull Matt in again. Um, that's strange. I guess, uh, I guess, they just want to, uh, they want extra time with Matt. Now, can anyone guess where Matt's from? His, his accent is interesting. Um, I must ask him where he's from. And hopefully he can tell us a little bit more about um, the work that he does uh, with One Tree Planted. They do some in, in fantastic work. And I've been aware of them for a long time now. I've been trying to, to see if we could work with them. So obviously, you know, it's been hard. There's so many charities out there we want to support, but I think this one you guys are really going to love. They've got some great plans for us, for our peakers, and uh, and hopefully, if we can get over the, the the modern technology side of this, we can hear a little bit more about the work that uh, Matt and his team do at One Tree Planted. I'm scrolling through, so you know I can find him again. There's surely another way of doing this, but. Um, I'm as yet unaware how to do that. Um, let me see if I can do this. Aha, I can invite you, Matt, on Tree Planted. Let's see. I've just invited you now. And hopefully we can get Matt back on. There we go. I don't know what happened. It just dropped. Oh, there we probably go. I think popular. But where am I from? I'm from Montreal. I saw that part. So I'm from Montreal, Quebec. Ah. Well, you have a lot of trees there. Yeah, a lot in Canada, that's for sure. And I think what you're from Scotland, right? That's right, indeed. Yeah, yeah, I, was I am. At I was at COP actually, so first time in Scotland, and I loved it. It was such an amazing time out there, and some of the big announcements on some of the things that One Tree Planted is doing. But what an amazing country, Scotland! Looking forward to going back. Oh, well, we'd love to have you, especially maybe to come along to our next gala as well. We have a gala event where we celebrate with all our peakers, um, you know, all the work that they do. So maybe you can come and tell them a little bit more. But I guess, Matt, for, for people that don't know, 
why don't we start at the very beginning and tell us, you know, what is One Tree Plant and, and, and what do you do? So it's an environmental uh, charity. It's a 501c3 based out of Vermont. Mm -hmm. And we plant trees around the world. I always say we plant trees in North America, South America, Asia, and Africa. But now Europe being our newest region, so we now have to learn to say five regions around the world, but doing a lot of work now over there in Europe, Romania, Spain, Scotland, Ireland, etc. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then donate, you know, for every dollar donated, it, plant, it plants a tree. So, you know, I started eight years ago and really it was, you know, I knew people like your, your followers and, 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 and want to do more for the environment. But when you look around, you know, there's a lot of great environmental organizations out there doing incredible work. But I found that when you went to their website, it was too technical mm -hmm. or a lot of them positioned themselves as doom and gloom. If you don't donate, you know, the world's going to end tomorrow. I wanted to do it as inspiring and exactly what you say, global move it, movement dedicated to educating, inspiring you know, members to live healthier and happier lives. It's the exact same thing with One Tree Planted, trying to inspire, educate people about the importance of planting a tree and how it helps. Yeah, and it's such a simple thing to understand. I think, you know, with, with the world, it's the state it's in right now, you know, it can, you can get depressed, you can get, um, it feels a little bit out of control, but this is a way for, for peakers and for everyone to sort of take control of their environment, right? And, and such a small thing like planting a tree can make, I guess, a big difference. Um, well, I mean, it, you know, trees, obviously, they look great and I love the outdoors, but obviously they have another role to play in, in um, the environment. I mean, how, how does planting trees help? So, you know, I say the six pillars. So they help with air quality, help with water quality, help with health, create jobs, help with local biodiversity, sequestering mm -hmm. carbon from the atmosphere. So a lot of benefits when you plant a tree and it's so tangible. You know, you go out, like you said, in your local community, plant a couple of trees, and it's so gratifying getting your hands in the dirt. And it really was a big part of our growth, organizing tree planting events, you know, all around the world. And people go out there and say, oh, my God, this is amazing. I didn't realize how this is having an impact. I want to do more. So, again, it's exactly about inspiring people, educating people about the importance. Yeah, I love it. And, and, and as you say as well, like you do it all around the world. And I think everyone, you know, from Brazil to, to the UK to, 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 you know, Australia, you know, I think we all have seen, you know, the sort of deforestation, but also the benefits we can get from, from replanting. Um, but you do it, you know, one dollar tree. How does, how does that happen? How does that work? So reforestation 101. So there's four fundamental costs. The first key cost is the site preparation. The second cost is to grow the tree at a nursery. And then the third component is the cost for that tree planter to go out and plant it. And then the fourth cost is the monitoring and maintenance of those trees. Because, you know, use this expression, easy to plant a tree, but growing a tree is a little bit more difficult. Yeah. So go back a year later, three years later, you want to make sure those trees are surviving, you know. And it's complex, you know. Working in Brazil, like you said, is more challenging. And working in Canada or California, it's all different. So we have an incredible team here at One Tree Planted that constantly look for projects partners on the ground that have been doing incredible work for decades and what they're missing is just a little bit more funding to get more trees in the ground so that's what we are doing and helping out you know in over 50 countries we're planting right now uh, i mean we you know obviously we love the work you do and we that's exactly why we want to help help you raise funds and, and obviously continue the great work you're doing and i just saw a question there from from actually someone in brazil but they're asking you know what what kind of trees and how do you decide what kind of trees to plant you know, so it's those partners on the ground and, and, and in Brazil, you know, complex, different situations. We're working with a great organization, Black Jaguar Foundation. And it's important when they're planting these trees that it's helping with the ecosystem, the local biodiversity. But we're really relying on them. They've been there for decades. They know the type of trees that need to be planting. And they'll give us the breakdown of all the different types of tree species that they're planting and why. I'll give you one that was in Colombia. I'm just using an example. But, you know, from yeah mining over the many years and they used like mercury that you know really just degraded the soil quality nothing could grow there so they wanted to try a new type of tree species the acacia tree and it really drops a lot of its leaves into the ground and provides more nutrients to the soil and it also has a lot of sap on the tree and the bees love that so the bees are getting attracted to these trees we're planting and it's helping with the entire ecosystem so a lot of people don't realize yeah how it's so interconnected you know but we really rely on the uh, partners on the ground, British Columbia is a huge area where we plant and they notice with the big forest fires on the West Coast, you know, happening more severe, more frequent. There's these that we call them pioneer tree species, aspens and cottonwoods that when the fires hit it, 
the fire dipped. So they wanted to put 200,000 trees to test it and see what would happen in the next oh, wow. world. But we were a noble organization to get them to order those trees at the nursery, and they wanted to try it because, as we all notice, you know, the climate's changing, more severe storms, you know, all over the place. So we have to be thinking forward. What type of trees are going to be, you know, resilient to this, where we're going to be in a few years? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, I, I mean, I knew about this sort of um, the ecosystem and certainly even for, for erosion as well. But I didn't know, that they, I mean, it's not as amazing that you can stop a fire. You know, I guess there's certain types of trees that are more resilient than others. And, and they, I guess they are the sort of the lungs of the world. So yeah, um, totally. how many trees have you planted so far? Not personally, but as, as part of your organization. Well, you know, these tree planters that do incredible work, I don't know how they do it because I've gone out to some sites and you're going at four in the morning and there's mosquitoes and black flies just eating you apart. But they're just so focused and they plant like 3,000 trees a, a day. Um, wow. But, you know, this year we planted over 23 million trees this year. Um, in total, we planted over 40 million trees. I started this eight years ago. I just wanted to make it simple for people to get involved and learn about the importance and get out there and plant some trees. So I never would have thought that we'd be this big right now. Um, building the brand, to me, it was important about corporate culture and build the brand. And when you think about tree planting, people think of One Tree Planted. So, you know, thanks so mm -hmm. much. And thank you enough about, you know, just people realizing the importance and learning about One Tree Planted, you know, and, and I always say together, we're planting a forest. This all kind of is a big collective effort. It's incredible. 40, 40 million trees, that's, that's that's just stunning. I mean, thank you for doing that. I mean, how, how many, what's, what's your plans for the future? Do you want to do another 40 million? I mean, how, where are you, where can you get to? Is it just as many as you can? You know, I mean, people like yourself that are inspiring people and, you know, planting trees helps with health. You're all about health and eating and a balance and everything. So it's, it's, they're so interconnected, right? But, you know, we're doing tree planting projects now that are more in urban areas that are providing more canopy cover, reducing the heat and just providing better, cleaner air. We're working with a lot of professional athletes and teams right now because they have, you know, big following. And, you know, you have a reach, you have a voice. And it's all these people say, oh, my God, this is amazing. You know, the biggest question was, how do I know my trees being planted and did it survive? So when you ask me 2022, what are some of the goals? It's going to be really on satellite and, and drone monitoring so that we can show, you know, analyze the, the environment where we're planting trees, showing where it's going to be interconnected biodiversity corridors, and that you could click on a button and kind of see that, indeed, my $20 donation or $1 donation, you could see the work and effort that's being done. So big part of, in 2022 for us. I love it. It's such a, it's such a simple but yet, you know, really effective way to, to affect positive change in, in in the environment and, and in your health as well you know not only looking after the environment but you're looking after your health you know i think we all you know crave you know cleaner air and better living condi conditions so um, totally. uh, it's fantastic well i was wondering if we would take some qu see if anyone wants any questions actually i've seen quite a few people but they're loving the uh they're loving the the stats you're coming up with and the work you're doing and, and i'm just so happy to be honest to to be supporting you guys i know our peakers are delighted um you know and, and we've got some projects together that we're going to be working on as well that we're not going to reveal just yet i don't think but um we are working on something together isn't that right yeah absolutely and you know people do the impact that it has in terms of job creation and, you know, we're doing projects, you know, one of them, it's amazing in Rwanda, where they're empowering women in the workforce, we're doing mangroves in India, you know, an incredible story, and it's almost a tearjerker. But I mean, this one project in the Pacific Northwest, where we're planting trees, it's cleaning the water, these streams, these critical watersheds, that's bringing back the salmon. And as we all know, in the Pacific Northwest, the icon is the orca whale, the resident orca whale, and it's actually on the endangered species list. But one of the big reasons it's on the decline is its food supplies diminished. So by us planting these million and a half trees through that corridor in Oregon, Washington State, even California, British Columbia, cooling the water temperatures, the spam comes back to spawn, increases the food supply chain for a resident orca whale, and they're coming back. There was just a news article that they never noticed so many sightings of the orca whale. So hopefully it's this collective effort that's helping all these amazing projects around the world. That's, that's amazing. That really is. And I, I can see people asking there, Matt, about, you know, how can they get involved? Obviously, you know, by joining my peak challenge, we're going to, we're going to be supporting you as well. But if they want to find out more information or, or they just want to get out there and plant some trees themselves, you know, what, what is the best resource or what's the best way to get involved? You know, just doing stuff in your local community, you know, so if you Google it and you do tree planting events, I mean, this earth, 
every day is Earth Day, but in April is Earth Month. We're doing 100 tree planting events around the world. And we get a lot of people out there and then they get inspired to want to do more and then like living a healthier lifestyle, but also thinking consciously, what are other things I can do that's going to help the planet? And it all adds up, right? Being a vegetarian for a day, can I do it? And there's the challenge, right? So here's the My Peak Challenge and it's a meatless Monday, right? But here's the recipe, what you're going to eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, right? And if people have that guide to follow it and how many people did that? And for example, if anybody does this on the challenge, maybe we'll, we'll plant a tree with you for a challenge that you can put up in April. But again, lots of ideas for people to just kind of say, oh my God, that's easy to do. Post what you ate for lunch or breakfast, you know, that you tried the vegetarian option. So, and again, it's small little things that people can do that collectively make a difference. But I just say planting trees locally, you know, in your community, you can find them. They're typically watersheds really appreciate the volunteers that can come out and help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, it's really interesting you saying about the small changes. I think, you know, that's what NPC we're all about as well. You know, it's not trying to overhaul your life or your lifestyle. It's literally small things can make a big difference. And I think, you know, all of us getting together and, you know, if we all plant a tree or we all, you know, go vegetarian for a day and make this a regular thing. I think these, these small habits really add up. And, um, uh, well, we're, we're so excited to be part of this, Matt. And I appreciate your patience of trying to jump on here. I know we'll have a lot more, a lot more chance to chat and would love to invite you over to the, the gala in Scotland uh, later this year. Um, well, but is there anything else you want to add to this? Um, you know, it's obviously short and sweet, but we really just wanted to, to introduce you to, to our peakers, but also to, to the greater audience as well. Yeah, no, hello to everybody out there. And, you know, great to meet everybody. I think it's incredible what you're doing. And, you know, it's people like you that can inspire so many people to make these small little changes, get out there, exercise, eat better, plant trees. So again, just need more people to realize, you know, all this stuff that can be done and it's easy, easy to be done. Yeah, I, I think it's within our control, Matt. You know, I think it, it is small changes. And I think that, you know, sometimes this world can feel a little bit out of control, especially with, you know, the pandemic and everything that's been going on. And I think, you know, we can take control of our lives. We can make small changes. And I think there is there is a positive end to this if, if we if we act now. And it's, it's it's not all doom and gloom. I think there's people like yourself out there doing great stuff. So sure. thank you. And uh, we're going to save this. We're going to obviously share your details if you guys want to go on. Uh, might be challenged but also on on your website there'll be more information and 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 yeah you know, watch this space we're going to do some fun stuff together awesome looking forward to it and all the best for 2022 you too matt keep up the great work and uh we'll speak soon appreciate yep. you jumping my pleasure Cheers. bye uh huge thank you to all and um yeah we'll have more information about that but please join us for mpc 2022 you can see we'll be supporting some great charities including uh, one tree planted they are fantastic they're doing some really incredible work um they are all across the globe so i'm really proud to be part of that guys have a great 2022 we'll see you on the 31st of january for when the program starts you can pre-register now the program starts on the 31st of january i can't wait to see you all conduct some change take control of your lives and um have a healthier happier lifestyle and maybe we can plant some trees at the same time look after yourselves and uh i'm gonna go take some tech lessons right now see ya